next. Retail guru and advisor to the Prime Minister, Mary Portius, is making headlines today with her comments about the women in David Cameron's cabinet. In an interview with Heat magazine, she has revealed that she's well, less than impressed with their sense of style. She has said, I mean... What an ugly bunch. I could not look at them. They do dress up for my meetings, but I just want to go, please, no, not that necklace, not that skirt. Mm. <laughs> but is Mary Portis letting the sisterhood down, do you think, by making these comments? Yes. OK. Oh, I'm really annoyed at this. Why? Why? why I don't know, I usually get that bothered, but I just think these fantastic brainy career women that have worked their heart out to get to this to the point where they're actually these major politicians in the cabinet mm. who gives a monkeys what necklace they've got on if they can run the country and there are these amazing women I, I just don't think it's her place to say that necklace bad that necklace isn't it's just ridiculous <laughs> thank you and also Oh, she's on the soapbox on a roll I'm now. I'm not going to sleep. The very little been sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a bit on the edge. OK. <laughs> uh, but I do, I do think that it's always women as well that call yeah. other women. It really That's is. And we are our own worst enemy at some times because I think it's always women journalists that have a go at women and what they're wearing. It's not, men don't seem to be bothered about it. Well, as to long be as fair, the, the men, all they do is wear a blue or a grey or a black suit well, yeah. with a tie. Which is great. Well, that, it's fine if the woman wore a blue or a grey suit with a tie. Wear yeah. what they want as long as they look smart and they're running the country. I don't give a monkey's what they're wearing. But she's Thank also perpetuating that, that thing about, you know, we should all be obsessed with appearance. Mm. You know, yeah. she's, she is only criticising the women and, and I find it... I, I I think to criticise somebody else's taste, which is what she's doing, you know, not that necklace, not that skirt, it's like, I think that's really distasteful to do that because I think it's like saying, I've got style and you haven't. So what I'm wearing is right and what you're wearing is wrong. And I, actually, there is no such thing really as good taste, it's just your taste. And I don't know why I'm pointing at Jenny when I say <laughs> that. <laughs> Cheap. It's, not, it's, not, it's not for her to say what people should be wearing. You should never criticise what other people wear. No, I think it's totally it's not right. only, you know, disloyal to the sisterhood, because when you look about, you know, you look at um, politicians, when it's conference season, you see pictures of female MPs, yeah. the only thing that anybody ever talks about is what they're wearing, and it's just not important. You should never bother what people wear, ever. Well, um, now, <laughs> yes, well done. Well done, Sally and Carol. Yeah, well done, you. well done. I do you know what? But I yeah. love you know, I've got a bit of soft spot for Mary. I like her. I think she's oh, great. Have you? Oh, yeah, I, I do. Uh, I might be a bit portas sometimes. Um, uh, not many people get that. Anyway, <laughs> I'm a fan, but I just I'm think a big she's fan. Wrong. I, th I think the only thing she's the biggest thing she's done wrong is to say the word ugly, which is a bit unforgivable. I think mm. that calling people ugly is, is going over the top. But I do think. There's a, a lot of these women really cannot dress themselves, and I think that it is... They're meant to be bright. Come on, get it together, girls. Yeah, but Maybe there should be a boutique in the House of Parliament. Oh, but what does been. it matter, Jenny? What does it matter? Because really? it instills no sense of, sort of faith in them. I remember when I once had a little bit of a nervous breakdown, I went to see a therapist. <laughs> That's a tiny funny, one, sorry. a teeny tiny little nervous breakdown. I went to see this therapist. I walked in there and there was this middle-aged woman and she was so badly dressed. I looked at her and I thought, I cannot entrust my emotional baggage to you who cannot dress yourself. You're wearing American tan tights with navy blue shoes. I'm really sorry. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> bit of a breakdown. You walk into an office to try and get some help yeah. and all you can be bothered to do is look at what she's wearing. Yeah, she was what? making me feel worse. But... <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's wrong. You I, can't I, do I know that. What, I know what you mean, though. I know when we were when uh, we were starting up our, our... We've got sort of build an interiors company, Steve and I run, and we, we when we were starting it all up and all that, and I went along to the bank, and, you know, and I'm a 40-something-year-old woman, and I went in... To me, going to the bank to see someone to talk about starting a business, I expected a, you know, a man in a suit looking a bit with big eyebrows oh, and looking a bit scary. Why man? I don't know. It just was in my head. And, and then it turned out it was this lady who was really young for a start. That made me feel quite old. And she was really frumpy. She was frumpy, but really just kind of threw everything on, crumbs, hadn't really done anything with her hair. And I must admit, I thought, same thing as you, Jenny, I thought, I'm entrusting you with business advice to start up something that, you know, we're, we're putting our, our lives in, into this, and I don't really feel like you get how important this is, because you haven't even bothered to dress properly to come into work. So it, it, does, make a, it does make a difference. Yeah, but that's it. OK, there, I agree. <laughs> 
I agree that there are certain professions that demand a certain dress code. Yeah. I agree with that, but I don't think you should ever criticise somebody else's style or taste. Like, um, she, she was even having a go, I think, at uh, uh, Kate, Kate um, Middleton. You know, and what she was wearing, well, well, it's the like there's is... nothing fashionable about her. But There is nothing someone... fashionable about Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton is oh, a beautiful... Oh, and that's beautiful... why her dresses sell out, because they're... Yeah, she, yeah, yes, but it's, uh, it, they're, they're sold to other people who have no real but fashion No, but you're sense. just... I'm really sorry. Yeah, but I'm gonna... Kate Middleton is... If you're not being fashion. just Kate Middleton just as She's bad. beautiful. Kate Middleton is not a politician. We're talking about people that run, good, yeah, run good the point. country. Who cares what Theresa May wears or or, or any of? Uh, there you go. Well, she doesn't look bad clever. there, but sometimes she wears very odd shoes. But who cares? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Well, stop it! You're all doing it now. You're doing yeah, it. Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Look, she's wearing a nice dress. You know, she's a woman. What do you? Yeah, let's all have MPs. All MPs, men and women, all dressed in suits with blue ties and you know. Yeah, why do we give them a uniform? They wear tabard. 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 Yeah, I, I, I reckon there are quite a few people out there who would have a lot to say about what Mary Portas wears. I think she's got. I think she looks great all the time, yeah. but it's mm. questionable sometimes. She wears some dodgy necklaces and she yeah. wears dodgy boots sometimes. So no, she can put it together. <laughs> <though>. <laughs> she can put it together. I think the school uniform idea is really good. Idea, you know, most of them went to private school anyway. They'd be used to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay.